Hey guys, and welcome back to Hike Oregon. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my PCT prep series. In today's video, I will be showing you the food that I'm taking on my Pacific Crest Trail trip. you haven't watched any of my previous PCT prep videos, I will link them below. You can watch them. I am hiking the Oregon section of the PCT. It will take me around 30 days. I'm doing a few resupply stops along the way. So what I'll be showing you today is what I will be carrying starting off the trail. Our first leg of the trip is five and a half days, so I'm carrying six days worth of food. Just in case something comes up, I always want to be prepared just in case someone gets hurt, we have to spend an extra day somewhere or rest or anything like that. So I will always be carrying an extra day's worth of food. There are a few things that will get added right before I go on the trip. It is still a few months before I go, so I'm not going to buy any fresh stuff that might go bad by July. So let's get started. This is my Gobi Gear segmented sack. This is what I am using for my food bag, and it's fairly large as you can see. There's my foot. So it's really awesome. I have used it before on a short backpacking trip. It works really well and that's how I am going to organize the majority of my food. Okay, so let's start with breakfast. I have these Nature's Path oatmeal packets and they are really sweet and not that high in calories. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take additional oatmeal and stir one of these packets into the additional oatmeal to kind of enhance what this already is. So it's not so sweet and it's more calorically dense. So I don't have that plain oatmeal packed yet just because it will be fresh and I didn't want to put it in Ziploc bags and you know have it sit for the next three months and uh, have it go stale. So these are individual packets that are going to go in the plain oatmeal. And then of course I have my Starbucks Via. I love this coffee. Another thing I have not purchased yet that will also be put into individual Ziploc baggies is my dehydrated milk. I don't drink black coffee, so I do need a little bit of dehydrated creamer to go in there. Next I have my snacks. So I have a bunch of these Justin's almond butter and then hazelnut butter as well. So I absolutely love these and I am so grateful to Justin's for sending me so many of these wonderful packets. They will last me throughout the whole trip and I'm so excited to eat these. These really give you like a nice boost of energy and you can also like smear them on tortillas or rice crackers or anything like that and they are just really delicious. Next I have some dried fruit from Peeled Snacks. This was also sent to me by Peeled Snacks. Thank you so much and I'm so excited. I absolutely love dried mangoes so this is going to be so awesome. And then I have, of course, from Outdoor Herbivore. I'm so excited to try these Cinnamon Monkey Chomps. So they're just um, banana chips in cinnamon and sugar. So these are going to be such a treat midday. I cannot wait to eat these. And this is a snack for like two days. This is a large packet, so this is not going to be eaten all at once. And then I have some more snacks over here. I have a few red bars. I have a peanut butter one and a chocolate one. These were also sent to me by Red and I have enough for my entire resupply for the trip and I'm so excited. These are so high in energy and protein and they have superfoods in them. The calorie per ounce ratio is ridiculous. That is what I look for when I go backpacking. So this is 230 calories and it only weighs two ounces. That is so awesome. And then I also have a Power Crunch bar. These are really good. They're also super, super lightweight. 
So this is 205 calories. It's 1.4 ounces. So also the weight to calorie ratio on that snack is also totally awesome. And then of course I have some gummies, Pro Bar, and then some Cliff Shot Blocks. These are some of my two favorite gummy snacks. And that's all for snacks. Let's head over to lunches. For lunches, I will be cold soaking. And so I have couscous here, and this is enough for two or three lunches. And I'm just gonna obviously take it out of the box and put it in its separate a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna cold soak this and then have it with these tuna packets. So I have a lemon pepper pink salmon, I have a hot buffalo tuna, jalapeno seasoned tuna, and a sweet and spicy salmon. So that's four tuna packets, that's set four separate lunches. And then up here I have some instant quinoa from Outdoor Herbivore that I can also cold soak. And it uh, came with a pesto sauce, so I can mix that in. And this is gonna be enough for four lunches, if not more, this is a lot of quinoa. And I can also add in some dehydrated vegetables, which is super awesome. I cannot wait to eat this. I think it's gonna be a great lunch. I made the mistake last time I went backpacking on the PCT. I went out for 17 days and I made the mistake of not taking a real lunch and it was a very very big mistake because I ended up not eating enough during the day. I would just snack and that wasn't enough and then I would go and eat dinner and still be absolutely famished and uh, I lost seven pounds in 17 days so it was not good and I don't want to do that again. I was very low on energy, very just emotional and yeah I just don't want to do that again so I'm taking tons of food. I Probably I'm taking more than necessary, but there's always people to share it with too. So for dinners, I have a variety of dinners because I wanted to mix it up. I get so bored of food easily. So um, again, I have two packets here of Idahoan potatoes, different kinds. And again, I can add in some dehydrated vegetables if I want and stuff like that. And then I have two outdoor herbivore meals here. I have chickpea sesame getty, so spaghetti, and it comes with a vegan cheese sauce. And then I have cibola couscous. So another couscous dish, but this one you actually have to cook. It comes with olive oil and salt and pepper and all of its fun ingredients. I can't wait to try this. I think it'll be really delicious. And then I have a good to go meal. Besides outdoor herbivore, I would say this is probably one of my favorite backpacking meal companies um, just because they are super high in calories and their food is like seriously gourmet. You just cannot get much better than this and um, pretty high in calories here as well. So I wanted to have really high calorie dinners because I don't wanna wake up at 2 a.m. starving. And Good To Go was so nice to send me a coupon code to get some of their meals. Their meals are really spendy and I originally was not gonna be able to afford getting any Good To Go meals, but they were so kind to help me out for this trip and I was able to get some. So so I'm super excited to review. I got a bunch of different flavors, so. And then last but not least, I have a Mountain House meal here. It's one of their new turkey dinners, and I'm uh, pretty excited to try this. I like Mountain House. They're not the healthiest meals, so I didn't bring a lot of them, but they were so kind to send me some of their new turkey dinner casseroles to try out and review for you guys. So that is all of my food items that I will be taking on my PCT trip. Pretty much each resupply looks very similar. I always mix up the kind of bars that I'm taking. I mix up the, you know, couscous and quinoa and tuna packets. I always have a variety of dinners so that each night I'm eating something different and then snacks vary as 
well. The only thing that is not really that different is my oatmeal. I do have four different flavors, so I do get a little bit of a variety, but I am eating the same. Basically, I am eating oatmeal every single morning, which doesn't really bother me. I really like oatmeal, and as long as it's a different flavor every day, I think I can handle that. And then, of course, my coffee I don't ever get sick of. So thank you so much for watching this PCT prep video. If you have any questions, just comment below, and make sure to follow me on Instagram to see pictures of all of my recent adventures. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next adventure.